This footage comes to us from Holland. A group of friends are exploring a park and decide to visit some watchtowers from World War II. The towers are closed for vandalism and it looks like their trip is over. Little did they know they were about to see something much more interesting than a cluster of abandoned towers could ever be. What the fuck is that? Hey! Kerel, hey! A large black figure is observing their movements from somewhere in the distance. It looks like it is trying to hide behind a tree, which shows that it has some level of intelligence, but it does a poor job and gets spotted immediately. They began shouting for the humanoid to come out. Suddenly, a series of banging noises fills the forest and sends them running. When one of them enhances the camera footage, this is what they find glaring at them. Then again, I guess it's hard to glare at someone when you have no face. Whatever this humanoid was doing, it looked like it was up to trouble. The group might have been easily attacked if they didn't try to scare it off. Two friends are creeping around a forest in Granada, Spain when they stumble upon something they were never meant to see. The humanoid is likely hunched over its prey as the two approach. They accidentally make a noise and the humanoid's keen ears detect them instantly. It looks up from his meal, ready to attack. You can see that this creature is thin and bony. It looks skinny and sunken in, fast, with a high metabolism. Its reaction time seems way too quick for any ordinary person. A YouTuber named Chloe Constance travels to the haunted Morton Corbett Castle in England to put her ghost summoning skills to the test. First, they ask any spirits to make the candle flicker if they are nearby. The candle does indeed flicker, but it looks like it might have been edited, so I'm not sure how much time passes between her request and the flame's movement. I want you to flicker if somebody's there. But when Chloe tells the spirit to make a sound, this object flies by the camera. <laughs> the pink object looks like a hand, but the question is, was it one of theirs? Only the person holding the camera is close enough to move her hand, so I guess it could have been hers, but I'm not sure. Still, if you slow down the video and look to the left, you'll see a bright white light appear as soon as Chloe says to make a noise. Look at her sister's pink sleeve to see it. Either way, they seem stressed out and call the video off. This video is quite short at only 7 seconds in length and leaves us with more questions than answers. Two girls are filming a YouTube video with a large doll toy. If someone can translate this part, it could give us more insight into what the video was supposed to be about. Instead, the toy starts moving all on its own, staring directly at one of the girls. The girl off camera tells her to look at the toy, and when she does, she throws it down in fear. Their reactions both seem very genuine, and if this isn't paranormal, then I have no idea what caused this. Nighttime drives often lead to some creepy encounters. This one comes from a YouTuber who published his creepy nighttime drive in February of 2015. He is driving down an unknown dark road when a strange figure blocks his path. Though its clothing choice is certainly bizarre, what I find especially creepy is his glowing green eyes. The figure tries to chase the YouTuber away, but in a turn of events you rarely see in these types of videos. The driver decides to chase down the figure, who has no choice but to run in the other direction. The identity of this thing was never determined, but nevertheless, it's not something you would want to encounter on your creepy nighttime drive. Mature footage was shot somewhere in an underground sewage system. The cameraman is presumably a maintenance worker who is wearing a chest cam. Little did he expect to find a humanoid down there with him. The video begins with the cameraman seemingly frozen in place. The camera is very still, as if the maintenance worker is too afraid to move. Maybe he heard a noise and is waiting for a creature to reveal itself. Suddenly a pair of floating eyes peer at him from the distance.
The eyes appear to belong to some sort of nocturnal predator. They reflect so much light that all you can see are two gigantic white dots that are roughly as wide around as flashlights. The humanoid does not appear to have much experience with humans and seems apprehensive as it peers around the corner. It decides to run away and the cheap camera cuts out before we can see any more of the chase. The creature seems incredibly fast and probably got away, but exactly what happened next is anyone's guess. The video footage survived, so the cameraman probably did as well. Then again, maybe they recovered it from his dead body instead. There's just not enough information out there to say for sure. There's a good reason why this creepy kid's bike has been relegated to the roof. It is only supposed to play this lullaby for a minute, but so far it's been a half hour and counting. Hi, Tari in India here, and this is so freaking haunted. Nope. Help. No. Stop it. The voice soon changes to a more sinister tone, and I think I can almost hear other voices coming out of it too. I'm running away. What the hell is that? Oh my. Barry is positive that a spirit is moving around stuff in his house, so he takes a random object, puts it in the middle of the floor. This cat toy is remote controlled, so he puts the controller next to the toy to show that he is not messing with it at all. Nothing happens until almost four minutes into the video. Okay. And nothing else happens until another four minutes later when suddenly there's a second burst of movement. When it moves on its own a third time, Barry is confident that he has gathered enough evidence and stops recording. My only explanation is that Barry actually has two of these cat toys and was holding a second remote controller in his hands. However, you can just tell by looking at the controller that the big plastic buttons would probably make a loud clicking noise when pressed. Yet I never hear the button being pressed at all. Well, I think there is a good chance that this is real. Maybe Barry could record this again while showing himself in a mirror, just so we can see there is nothing in his hands. Myrtle Sarosa is a popular model and actress from the Philippines who witnessed something unexplainable while on tour. In eastern Samar, she and her crew are navigating unlit back roads when they spot this small phantom-like figure in the street. In Myrtle's words, the white blob caught by the dash cam does not match what they saw in person. She says what they saw looked more like a child who was around 10 years old with a pale face and a bluish white shirt. They wanted to double back and save the helpless child, but their tour guide said that this road is famous for child ghost sightings and that it was best to get out of there quickly. I guess this could all be just a publicity stunt, but since Eastern Samar once had a bad typhoon that claimed the lives of many children, I think that she is probably telling the truth. A dog barks in the distance at an alleged ghost seen floating around a woman's college in Asensol, India. It kind of looks like they are floating in mid-air at first, but I think they are probably walking across a rather thin branch. I think I see them grab onto the tree for support at 6 seconds into the video, so I can't agree for certain that this is an actual ghost. A YouTuber named Kelsey Davies is investigating a haunted house in a neighborhood in California with a particularly nefarious history. After setting up a flashlight in the middle of an otherwise empty room, Kelsey and her team discover an oddly shaped anomaly traveling clockwise. Nothing is dangling above them to reflect light, so like them, I have no idea what this is, but I'm open to your guesses. It's moving, it's shape is shifting. Yeah, this thing's been moving for like a long time. We don't know what it is. Plus. It is. At 1 minute and 55 seconds, Kelsey claims that the object turned into the outline of a face. I think it still looks the same as before, but tell me if you can see what she means. Maybe. I, I like see outlines of it. Like it looks like a head. Oh my god, it. 
You can see it's a dimension. It's like a body. This video will have you questioning how safe your food is if you live with roommates. Basically, a woman in South Carolina was caught on hidden camera, opening up the fridge and spraying select items with window cleaner. At first, it looks like she might simply be cleaning a dirty spot on the shelf, but when she takes a container out that still has food in it, gives a few good sprays, and then puts it back, it becomes clear that she is tampering with food. Since there is a hidden camera in the first place, I'm guessing she has been doing this for a long time, or at least long enough to make her roommate suspicious. She even almost notices the camera at approximately one minute into the video, but seems to shrug off the sensation of being watched. When faced with the evidence, she was put in a first offenders program and faced no time. Do you think this is fair based on the video, or should she have gotten a harsher punishment? Can two separate security cameras glitch at once? Or is this The Matrix Revisited? Posted to the very spooky video subreddit, a woman in Colombia appears to have vanished, and her vanishing act was captured from two angles. From one angle, she is walking down the sidewalk. She pauses for a moment, then walks a bit more before suddenly zapping from view. A second video captures her at an angle from the front. Again, she walks forward before disappearing into thin air at the corner of the sidewalk. Did she just teleport to another dimension? Some in the comments think this was just CCTV taking photos every few seconds, which were sped up for viewing. That way the girl could have disappeared in the so-called vanishing act. Others think this girl obviously has the gift of invisibility. What do you think is going on here? Let me know in the comments. Most people run away from monsters, but these two friends seem to be chasing one down. The creature looks to be very wide and is either covered in matted black fur or wearing huge black robes. I can't exactly tell which one. What I do notice are the impossibly large feet, and even though it's kind of hard to see, towards the end of this clip I can barely make out a gigantic white hand that is almost the size of its entire body. The creature's proportions make absolutely no sense, and when it turns around to defend itself against them, the front looks even more horrifying. Look again and you'll see the creature has a giant gray face that is twisted and warped beyond recognition. This still frame shows what I am talking about. Let me highlight the two eyes and open mouth so you can see it better. And of course, its oversized, gnarled hand is reaching out for them both. This Russian dashcam video starts with a car full of friends gawking at a figure dressed in all black, who looks very out of place standing all alone in the quiet city streets so late at night. Something feels off about this stranger, so they decide to double back and take a second look out of curiosity. This time, they get a much better view at the shadowy apparition and they all yell in surprise. <laughs> the cloaked figure has stepped into the street and now faces them, almost as if expecting their return. The camera's quality is admittedly not very good, but I can't make out a single discerning feature of this person's face, which makes me wonder if they even have one to begin with. It's almost as if they were a shadow person. Then again, these friends kind of sound like they were possibly making a big deal out of nothing. With that said, something about the figure's silent, menacing posture and the way it stands in place makes me think this could be a spirit after all. This video comes from a nature trail that is rumored to be the burial spot of a prominent Native American leader who passed on hundreds of years ago. The first 30 seconds don't catch much activity, but when the weather spontaneously changes and the whole scene becomes very different indeed. I see something in the back. See all the orbs? Look at this. A soft rain falls and dozens of fast-moving orbs dart back and forth from all angles. At first I thought it was a swarm of gnats, but some of the orbs look way too big to be an insect, and some disappear in the mid-air. 
It likewise can't be raindrops because the orbs come down from all sides and even from the bottom of the screen at times. To make things even stranger, a child soon perceives movements in the distance. Soon after, the wind picks up and it almost looks like an invisible presence is walking down through the foliage in the exact same spot that the kid thought he saw something. There's something moving. See it? No. A YouTuber named Melmer4564 has a unique problem with her apartment home, an unwanted visitor who simply won't go away. You might not see it now, but it sees you. <laughs> this small crescent shape looks like a human face no matter what angle you look at it from. Even when the camera is fully tilted, you can still tell that is the left side of someone's face. How did this get here? And more important than that, why is it not going away? What is up? We are back and right now we just hit a random abandoned, haunted, like really haunted house apparently. Uh, New Hope PA is well known for a lot of abandoned, maybe haunted paranormal sites. All right guys, so like I said before, we are exploring a really haunted house in a really haunted town. Apparently, I don't know the exact story on it, but Tim, what was it? People left because this house for being so like haunted or like paranormal, yeah. stuff like that. Kyle McGran goes exploring upstairs and while filming random rooms, a person briefly appears in the mirror. It could have been one of his friends, but this person is covered in darkness despite standing in an area that's well lit. At the other end of the house is a small boarded up attic that fills them with dread upon entering. Bro, this room is creepy. Literally left a lot of stuff. Shoes. Yo, the movie is called Without a Trace. I know it was a 90s movie, but finding a videotape called Without a Trace in the middle of an attic of an abandoned house where the family mysteriously disappeared is not a good sign. Nor is anything that's stained red. Yeah, it's red in there. Oh my god. Some sort of scary voice is caught on tape. One belonging to a ghost or a demon that none of them seemed to hear at the time. They go downstairs into an old creepy basement that makes them feel so overwhelmed with fear that they only make it one step further before they turn around. Something tells me this is where the family still is. It seemed that whatever haunted this family has only grown stronger over time and drives Kyle's group away in less than 10 minutes. A husband and wife are sitting in the living room when one of them notices that the cat toy is moving all by itself. When it happens a second time a short while later, they rush to get the phone and start recording what could be an animal spirit in action. Oh my goodness. I spent a long time looking up remote controlled cat toys and none of them looked anything like this one. This toy is obviously small and soft, while remote controlled pet toys are much larger and are also made of plastic to protect the receiver. Considering the married couple claims to have had a cat pass away years ago, I have little doubt that it's now returning to its favorite toy and to its favorite owners. This restaurant is thought to be haunted by numerous spirits, one being a former regular who goes by the name of Jack. Watch what happens on this paranormal equipment when you call Jack by his name. If you can step in front of this, we'll be able to see you if you can come over towards me. Jack, are you still here with me? Right no. there. No, that's, oh, that's that was okay. Ryan. That's not Ryan. That was no, it wasn't Ryan. No, that was him. Twice, a mysterious figure appears on their body mapping equipment, and as they are arguing about if the phantom image is real or not, the bartender says some words, and Jack, the ghost, relaxes, leans back against the counter. Okay, Jack, you can talk to them. You want to get down over here? Okay, Jack, you can talk. Is that one? Yeah. That is one. Yeah. Nobody is in front of them, and yet a ghost sighting is caught on camera. The bartender addresses the spirits again, and a second ghost sighting unfolds. Jack, please speak in that box. Come, let's go, let's play. Oh, oh there's, there's another, another one. one. Even smaller. Be, uh, like, probably. It's hard to say. I mean, yeah. the kids are all over the place. The server says that ghost kids are all over the place too, 
and as soon as she says those words, the smaller figure is gone. This just seems like far too much of a coincidence not to be something paranormal caught on video. A four-circuit CCTV system in Japan shows a woman waiting to get an elevator, but what we're looking at is the woman in the upper right monitor who is about to do the impossible. Did you see it? If not, I'll show you again. This does appear to be at least somewhat edited, especially when you pause halfway through and get that green screen look, but maybe it's just a glitch with the video file, and I need to accept the possibility that it could actually be real. A YouTuber and his friend are riding a motorcycle throughout the Indian town of Uti when they unexpectedly zoom past a pedestrian clad in ancient looking robes. Watch this part and if you happen to share their language, please translate what's being shouted at the person here. I'm guessing that they probably said watch where you're going or something along those lines. Whatever it is that they said, it must have really upset the other person because after driving in a straight line for about another minute, this happens. They come across the same person as before, yet this is impossible because there is no way that the person could have been traveling on foot faster than what they were doing on a bike. Suddenly it dawns on them that they were most likely taunting a spirit and it looks like they actually get off their bike to flee. This video looks very authentic and I'm inclined to believe it is real because there's no added music or sound effects, just raw footage. If anyone is from the town of Uti or lives nearby, let me know if these sightings are common in the area or better yet, tell me if you've ever seen something like this yourself. A YouTuber named Area Awesomeness claims these pet leeches are for more than just a show. Apparently, they can help treat things, but the only way to experience these supposed benefits is by letting a leech latch on to you. And believe it or not, these ones are only about a year old and not even full size. Adults can grow up to two feet in length and would pack an even bigger bite. With this in mind, the whole situation stresses me out too much to try it, but that's just my opinion. Tell me what you think about this part. They can either be fed, I guess, human blood, animal blood, whatever you prefer. And if you would be brave enough to try, TF141 Ghost goes exploring an abandoned house, one he found on a secret blog about haunted locations in his hometown. He walks slowly across a rotting floor that can barely support his weight, and apparently the floor isn't the only thing left rotting in this house. As you can see, I mean, it's definitely abandoned. It's been abandoned for, I would say, quite some time now. Give you the grand tour of the kitchen. The tour of the abandoned house. It's kind of creepy in here, I'm going to be honest. Check out this little door. I was really hoping I'd find something. I have no idea what the that is, so I'm not going to touch that. This mysterious object has been delicately wrapped in some kind of deli paper and left hanging. I have no idea what this is, but I'm afraid that it was once attached to someone. I totally forgot there's an upstairs. Oh, these are rickety stairs. It's about 20 degrees. It's kind of weird. Oh, and what's over here? There is a Bible. <laughs> There's a there's a there's a Bible next to about a hundred toys. The way the book is facing the camera is creepy, like it was left there on purpose, perhaps to guard against some evil in this room. Maybe an exorcism on someone possessed by a demon took place here. With that in mind, what he does next is very questionable indeed. I'm gonna grab this Bible. Take it with me, because I might need it on the way out. All right, time to go. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this here. That's really... Hopefully, removing the book didn't free something from that attic space. Besides that, I wouldn't want to touch anything that was possibly used during an exorcism anyway. And on top of that, discarding the book without a care seems like really bad luck to begin with. Oh, and one more thing. More bad news, of course. I think there may have been more clues in this hole at the top of the stairs, 
but what was hiding in there could not have been good. I think I might even see a face. A Reddit user named Necromimi posted the CCTV of a ghost captured at her friend's home. A translucent figure walks back and forth from one side of the room to the other multiple times, often fading from sight about midway across and reappearing a few feet away. After a while, it becomes slower and moves in place, eventually fading away into an orb that floats up towards the camera and disappears. The remarkable timing of this event rules out any possibility of a glitch, which makes me suspect that this was either some clever editing or truly paranormal. This video is called Old Man Tries to Lure Me. The person in question might just be bored and lonely, or they might have some really bad intentions. Watch what happens and give me your take. A YouTuber named Soft Flop is riding his bike to work when he passes a man who is sitting at the edge of his lawn. The two greet each other like normal, but then the man eagerly adds that he was just lighting fireworks. This video was taken in July, so I can understand why he'd be doing that. But listen to his voice and tell me if you think he is being over-friendly. What's up, bud? You were? Sitting out here alone is kind of odd. If you saw somebody randomly using this setup, would you think the owner is out of their mind or just down on their luck? I'm thinking Soft Flop might have felt a little sorry for him because they do stop and talk. After a while though, the man invites him to go even deeper onto his property to light more fireworks. I guess he could just be feeling patriotic on the 4th of July, but do you think he sounds suspicious here? I'll go grab the fireworks if you want to stay. Soft Flop decides he is fine where he is, and that's when the man starts to touch his bike and offers to fix something wrong with it. Maybe he's just being a nice guy, or maybe he is trying to gauge how Soft Flop reacts to him touching his stuff. Get this out for you a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm good. By now, he is standing closer than ever, so Soft Flop gets out of there with a fist pound. Which scenario is the truth? A socially awkward loner trying to meet new people, or someone trying to do harm? Elliot Mosqueda has a motion sensor cam in his living room that at first glance appears to go off for no reason. Look at the television, though, to see someone crossing the room. I can see the black reflection of this square poster in the television, so it definitely really was the same background. The question is if it's real or edited. YouTuber Don John Averon claims to have captured an unknown humanoid on tape while deep in the woods in 2016, but without more information or evidence, little can be verified in regards to this video's authenticity. But if it's real, then this chilling footage shows Don silently creeping up on an ape-like creature that has tiny legs and a hunched-over upper body. The humanoid does not seem to notice him as it casually swings its massive arms while walking. It moves like a human, but apparently has giant sloth-like arms with no fingers. It retreats deeper into the forest and Don doesn't follow. A man is enjoying the park in Salford, England, when this unsightly tree gives him pause. Everything looks completely normal from this angle, but then when you get just a bit closer, a grinning symmetrical face appears. This tree does face playground equipment, which provides somewhat of an explanation as to how this all started. I'm guessing some kids must have stripped some loose bark off out of curiosity, which is natural enough, but this gruesome one-eyed expression that settled in its place is anything but. A ghost keeps slamming this closet door, according to Kevin Summer. It happened while doing housework, so he puts a camera on a shelf and waits. At 1 minute and 52 seconds, the whole closet is shown. It's a small area crammed with items and no one is hiding inside. This creepy event was scary enough to make him no longer want to live there and put the house up for sale, Kevin says. Do you believe this was paranormal? I think I might. This YouTube video posted by a user named Relly Kane doesn't have a source, but he claims it happened somewhere in Vermont. The creature looks a lot like the rake, except there appears to be two long and possibly razor-sharp arms jutting ahead to support its weight as it moves. 
The legs look very small and unnatural at 14 seconds in. And at 42 seconds, you can see its arms are way too long to be a human. However, at the 55 second mark, it looks like it could possibly be someone in a costume, leaning on two walking sticks. So what do you make of this? This YouTuber thinks his room is completely haunted. This is what was caught on video when the camera was left running for only a few minutes. Okay, not exactly five minutes, but I swear to God I heard something, so I'm gonna watch back the footage. He comes back into the room thinking he heard a noise, but nothing is there. At least nothing that he could see. At two minutes and 41 seconds, a fast-moving shadow figure is caught on camera. A mysterious outline of a person. I don't think the reflection is his because it moves too quickly. This creepy video is either paranormal or edited, but which? Something about it says real ghost sighting to me. Two friends record a song on acoustic guitar, completely unaware of what lurks nearby. There is nothing behind them, but then a giant figure taller than the door itself peers at them through the glass. By the time the person who is singing leans forward and back, it's gone. When you zoom in, it almost looks like the head is completely detached from the body, or maybe it has a deep slash in the neck. Then again, since the alleged ghost doesn't appear to move at all, it could just be cheap editing. With that said, this was taken in 2007, so the video quality is actually very good for its time, and many think it could be real. The SEMGHS Ghost Hunters record some interesting evidence of the paranormal during their investigation of a house in Waterford, Michigan. Nobody is anywhere near the doorway when this motion detector goes off, so tell me how this can happen. This is use my shadow. Oh, the motion went off. Then when he says hello, the motion detector fades away as orbs fall. Hello. Okay, what you are seeing Right there, lit up, that's the motion detector. And, it just and as they are talking about what happened, a third voice chimes in with this creepy whisper. Yeah. Well, that's the, uh, it was the standard of the uh, Ooh. This toy is apparently possessed by a spirit who wants to imitate whatever its living counterpart does. Here you can see the toddler sitting on a toy truck, so the spirit decides to do the same. All around that toy. There it goes again, there it goes again. Yep, there it goes again, there it goes again. Orbs dance all around the yellow toy truck as its wheels slowly creep forward, almost unnoticeable at times. At one point, a larger orb seems to trace the outline of the truck itself in a zigzagging pattern. And maybe it's just me, but it looks like the child notices something too. I'm pretty convinced that this is a real paranormal counterpart, but I'm definitely open to other logical explanations. So be sure to tell me what you think is happening here. A YouTuber named Baskir Bennywall has been thinking about the strange events of this unexplained video taken on his helmet cam at night in India. The more he thinks about the mysterious encounter that I'm about to show you, the less sense it makes to him, and the more scared he becomes. So let's try to solve this video and help him explain the unexplained. Okay, so he's returning home with his friends, but the roads are very dark and soon they become completely lost. They are already going slow to look for road signs when a speed bump slows them down even more. That's when they capture on camera a mysterious figure in white walking up ahead. At first, they are excited because they think he will be able to give them directions to get back home, but the mysterious figure instead does not say a word or even acknowledge them, staring straight the whole time. Tell me what's being said during this short interaction in case I'm missing anything important. Something about the man is extremely off-putting and instantly gives this YouTuber the impulse to get away fast. After a while, however, they figure there's no harm in trying to ask for directions from him a second time and so they turn around. But here's where things get weird. They go to where he last was sighted, only to find... Mysterious. 
that the mysterious figure has completely vanished, and it's not like a lot of time has gone by or anything like that. They encounter the strange silent man, keep going for another 20 seconds, turn around, and then drive back for another 20 seconds to where he just was. So not even a minute has passed before the figure mysteriously disappears. Assuming this was a person and not a spirit, he could have seen the motorcycle turning around and got scared, so he found somewhere to hide. But here's the thing, I never told you where they were returning from. They had spent the day at the Bangar Fort, which is said to be of the most haunted places in all of India, so maybe this was a ghost sighting of something paranormal that was following them home. I mean, walking around in the middle of the night in total darkness is weird. Not stepping off the road when a vehicle approaches is even weirder, and staring straight ahead when someone calls for your attention is just bizarre. So maybe it was a ghost on video after all. This grainy video, taken in a dark room just outside of the kitchen, shows a children's toy suddenly glide forward on its own without warning. The quality of the video is not very good, but then again it was taken in 2010 and seems about right for camera phones of that time. As for why the camera was set up in that spot to begin with, I'm not sure. Maybe they have been experiencing paranormal activity in this area of the house and wanted to record it for proof. Either way, there's still enough light spilling in from the kitchen to show a string on the ground if there was one. I can't see one, and therefore I think there's a strong possibility that this video could be absolutely real. This video could very well be proof that the humanoid kingdom extends into the insect world. At first glance, this video appears to be a firefly or some similar sort of bug, but when slowed down frame by frame, you can clearly see that this is not a bug at all but rather appears to be a tiny winged humanoid. The video shows an insect-like humanoid with clearly discernible arms and legs. Unlike most bugs, this humanoid only has four limbs, and the arms appear to be twice as short as the legs, much like a person. There's simply no insect on Earth like it. It's just too bad the lighting conditions don't provide more detail, because it would have been interesting to see more of its face and overall color patterns. Exactly where this video was shot is not known. A real demon sighting is caught on camera according to an uploader named Esoteric Boy, a dark shadow haunting his room. He lightens the photo to reveal a tall mysterious figure with horns. Strangest of all, the alleged demon has a goat-like face and no reflection in the mirror, considering he has editing software. I think this could possibly be photoshopped, but if not, then it's time never to go into the room again. These contractors are doing some roof work when a woman who none of them have ever seen before decides to randomly scale the ladder and walk around the roof like she owns the place. The workers eventually convince her to climb down the ladder after a minute of debate, but judging from how she comes down, it's obvious that she doesn't have much concern for her safety or anyone else's. Here she nearly pulls the ladder over on herself. She would have absolutely sent the ladder to the ground if she was even just a few rings lower. What is she doing? What is she doing? I don't know if she's under the influence of something or having a nervous breakdown, but I have trouble believing anyone in their right mind would try this next maneuver from any distance, let alone from so high up. What the f***? What the f***? Next, she hangs off the ladder like a trapeze artist and does one of the craziest dismounts I have ever seen. Watch how badly the ladder wobbles. It really does look like it's going to give out at any second. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with this lady? The video ends as soon as she's on the ground, so I'm not sure what happens next. Hopefully they got her the medical attention she needs and did not let her go down the street to do something even more reckless. Never in a million years should you cross this bridge. Posted to TikTok by Real Horror Talk, a man on a motorcycle enters onto a narrow wooden bridge crossing a wide and fast moving river. There are no railings. Let's watch. As he rides steadily across, he looks to his right and then to his left. The water is flowing rapidly past. He continues on as if he does this every day, and maybe he does. Thank you. 
Those in the comments say when he looked left, they fell in the water. Others say it's like a terrible dream, but TikToker Trust Me has a more accurate reading. He writes, How my parents got to school. I think we've all been there. Whoever shot this footage claims to have been filming back in 2008. They were exploring an abandoned house and decided to start filming after hearing a strange noise. It's a very short clip since it wasn't long before they were running out of the house screaming. Reviewing the footage again, you can clearly see that this is not an ordinary forest creature. Its front legs bend inwards as it runs, kind of like a human running on all fours. It doesn't appear to have much of a face, yet it can somehow make a terrifying scream. The humanoid appears to be ready for the cameraman as soon as he opens the door. It approaches aggressively, but also with a hint of caution, for it rushes at the cameraman at only half speed. It also doesn't seem to pursue him when he starts running, which means it's probably just claiming its territory and wants to be left alone. The YouTuber who uploaded this video says that this is not their only encounter with the creature. Another time, they were exploring the abandoned house with a friend and a knife. They peer into the house from the front yard and listen for any signs of the creature inside. They don't hear anything, so they decide to go further in to investigate. That's when they hear its disturbing warning cries. <coughs> It sounds like a mix between a squealing pig and some sort of enraged dinosaur. The two quickly turn off their flashlights and remain quiet in the dark. Then they slowly get up and start sneaking away, but just when they think they are safe. What the heck is that? Oh, shoot, go! Shoot, shoot! Just get out of the house! Get out of the house! Just get back to the house! Just get back to the house! What the fuck was that? Christ. They run back full speed to their nearby home. When they review the footage, they vow to go back to the property the next day with guns, but they never got the courage to follow through. Since the monster never chased them in either video, perhaps it was just as uncertain of them as they were of it. A man and a woman are enjoying a private plane ride, when suddenly their pilot slumps over and becomes unresponsive. Watch the trees and you'll see the plane is really sideways and they are really freaking out. <laughs> It looks like she is going to take off her safety belt and jump when the pilot springs back to life and everyone starts laughing. Everyone but her. Do you think this joke went too far? I think there is a certain line between tasteful and terrifying that they may have crossed. And any prank where you fly with your eyes closed probably isn't the best idea. Captured at Hillview Manor in Newcastle, these paranormal explorers face their fears. Published by SCWC in October of 2019, the uploader calls this the scariest moment of their entire life. Although the video has no sound, the YouTuber says footsteps charged at them from down the hallway. The video shows their terrified reaction as they all look toward it. One of them even dives out of the way as the invisible spirit charges toward them. Noting that the footsteps ran between all of them, the uploader writes, The walls and floor shook with every footstep this spirit took while running. While you don't see anything run past, this group's synced reaction seems more than genuine. What was in the hill house with them? This Night Watchman Should Watch Out For Ghosts Published by Ghost Fighter Live in April of 2022, the creepy video starts with someone in a hooded white robe walking across the roof. A security guard sleeps on a ramp below. Although the sleeping person is unaware of the robed figure, his movement seems to be disturbed by him. The robed figure then vanishes, and the sleeping man is woken by a noise in the yard. He gets up to investigate. Finding nothing, he lies back down to sleep only for the robed figure to appear again. He disappears a second time on the roof, and another noise startles the sleeping guard awake. A third time, the guard lies down to sleep, and the robed figure reappears, this time getting closer to him. 
The figure seems to be controlling his movements, and suddenly the man is startled awake again. Carrying a large stick for protection, he searches for the figure, but he should have looked upwards. Is this ghost a particular nuisance, or is he warning the guard to stay awake for another evil yet to come? A ghost hunting crew called the Singapore Paranormal Investigators go exploring. The abandoned Bucket Brown Cemetery. Constructed in 1922, this is one of the largest burial grounds in the entire country. So if any place were to be haunted, it would be here. They light candles to attract spirits and soon read an energy spike on their paranormal equipment. They take a picture of the darkness ahead and think they've caught something paranormal in the shape of a glowing orb. I played this part in slow motion and discovered this strange orb is really a street sign reflecting the flash of the camera. I don't think they were purposefully faking this part and probably thought it was real paranormal evidence at the time because they were scared. The ghost meter swirls with another buildup of paranormal energy, and a solid black orb comes out of the equipment, or more likely an insect. Later that night, they think they see something fly over the candles in the area. I don't see anything here, but maybe you do. Their camera stops working shortly after they see it, so maybe there was a ghost after all. What you are witnessing is rare underwater footage of a Ningen, a gigantic sea creature apparently first spotted by Pacific fishermen sometime in the 90s. The name literally means human, and that's because they tend to have a round head along with four limbs and a skinny torso. The creature is about the size of a submarine, but looks rubbery and boneless. It appears to be mostly carried by ocean currents and has a limited control over its directional course. Since Ningen's sightings are so new, not much is known about these creatures aside from it having a preference for Arctic waters and a nocturnal sleep schedule. There's rumors about various government officials suppressing information from the public, so there's no telling what new Ningen footage will leak in upcoming years. It really makes you wonder what other humanoid monsters are possibly being hidden from the world's eye. A race car driver finds himself in one of the worst predicaments possible when the steering wheel breaks off in his hands. Shortly after kicking it into high gear by itself, judging by his right leg, it doesn't look like he hit the gas at all. The only thing left to do to keep from flying into the wall is pull the emergency brake, which he grabs immediately after fumbling a moment more with the now non-existing controls. The faraway look in his eyes at the end of it all says everything. He knows exactly how much danger he was in and that he's lucky to still be alive. A man films the road ahead while speaking in a different language. I'm not sure what he says, but it sounds like he is trying his best to stay calm in the face of danger. If you can translate this part for me, it would really help. <laughs> He slowly turns around the camera to reveal a hooded figure floating in his car. Only the upper half of its body is visible, and there's total darkness where its face should be. He doesn't dare look at the phantom in his rearview mirror, instead keeping his eyes on the road and letting the camera look for him. If this isn't a prop, then what could it be besides a ghost? A person is driving down a four-lane highway at night when they spy a figure wrapped in all white standing on the side of the road. As they get closer, they realize the strange person is not at all what they first appeared to be. What originally looked like a person waving hello or hitchhiking suddenly loses form and floats upwards towards the car as it speeds by, revealing nothing underneath. I'm not sure if I believe this video is real because a ghost under a sheet is such a classic stereotype that it almost has to be CGI. Then again, maybe this really is the spirit of a hitchhiker using cloth to show the outline of its true form. 
Omar Vassell and his friend are having a very strange problem in the toy section of Target. I will let them explain everything in a moment, but let's just say one of the toys seems to be a little too active. When is that? This toy does not go off. This toy does not go off. But the center toy goes off. <laughs> off. My hand's over here. Bow. Toy goes off. Just watch. What, what is that? Like, please tell me what that is. America, please. Maybe the batteries are depleted in all of the toys except for the one in the middle, but that still doesn't explain why it would go off when the other toys are touched. I feel like this video could have an obvious explanation that I'm not thinking of, so if you recognize these toys, or if you know anything about the toy manufacturing or design in general, then please let me know how this could possibly happen. This video, taken from a YouTuber named Finder Lurker, is from 2005. He is certain of a paranormal entity frequenting an area of the house that no one uses, so he sets up a camera and leaves. In the beginning of the video, you can see these two small eyes in the background, which is definitely weird, but it's nothing compared to what happens next. Arms appear from all sides, and then this head pokes out from around the corner. Its eyes white pinpricks of light and nothing more. One arm stays above them as if waving hello. It quickly disappears from wherever it came from, and then the camera begins to shake, eventually becoming dislodged and toppling over. It does feel a little too set up in my opinion, but whether all of this was an actual ghost or just some kids messing around is ultimately up to you to decide. This video comes from a supposedly haunted home in Chiefland, Florida. Diane Fraser and her paranormal investigation group attempt to summon the ghost of a child named David by inviting him to play with a toy top. Sure enough, the small piece of plastic soon begins to move on its own. Can you make sure that's zoomed in correctly? It is. Yeah. Okay. I want you to see that. Look, 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 look at that. Oh, good, good job. Buddy. Can you get that, Gabby? I am getting... Yes, yes okay. there he goes. Whoa. Eventually, Diane feels pains in her stomach and they are able to determine that David was kicked by a horse, possibly centuries ago. I have never seen this ghost equipment or software before, so I'm not sure what the radar screen is for. If this is just a regular tablet with an app, then there really should be no possible way for the top to spin by itself. This dog knows what's up. Published by Ghost Hunting Unique 0.4 in April of 2022, this dog is seen staring down the road. He then runs away without explanation. That's when this figure appears suddenly in the middle of the road. The figure later vanishes. But then this weirdo pops up, scaring a passerby. It's unclear what he wants, but he too vanishes after a moment. Later, another figure disappears as he's crossing the street. Is this just a road of no return? The Bermuda Triangle of Pavement? Or is something else going on here? This strange knocking happens at the same time every night and no other times during the day. 2.30 in the morning. This is definitely no animal. Whoever is knocking wants to make its presence known and apparently wants to get in now, immediately. I can also hear a strange paranormal voice before they knock during this part. I don't think it's the television because you don't hear it during any other part of the video. He shows us the outside of the trailer, and clearly nothing is out of the ordinary. Yet when he returns indoors, so does the knocking from outside. Five minutes has been doing it. Hopefully whatever this is never gets the idea to try the door. What is that? That's scary. Is that lightning? What the f is this? One night in 2018, this intense blue light was seen flickering in the sky all across New York City. The light was so intense that you could see its reflection on the water, as if it were the middle of the day. To the left and right, the sky was still dark, 
but in the middle was a blazing blue event of massive proportions. The official explanation is a power generator failure caused by an arc of electricity to shoot up into the sky. But here's the thing. There was no blast, no fire, no one hurt. Firefighters didn't even examine inside of the building it allegedly happened in, according to news reports. And when you look up stories about the incident, a large number of the headlines seem to go out of their way. To specifically mention it was not aliens kind of makes you wonder. Please don't try this yourself, but apparently there's a part of the eye that can be touched without producing a stinging sensation. This person pulls down their eyelid and gives a sharp poke to the outside corner of their eye like it's no big deal. He presses down several times in a row without even watering up, which is certainly more than I can say for myself while watching this video. I don't even want to know how he figured out this bizarre trick or how many times he had to practice before getting it right. Michael is in the middle of making a rather innocent YouTube video when something from another world crosses over directly behind him. Michael immediately gets up to inspect the toy set, and you can clearly see that there was no string attached. A string would show up easily against the dark wood of this table, and there is also a Coca-Cola can directly in the path of where a string would theoretically have to be. In fact, watch again and you'll clearly see that Michael moves directly in front of the toy and would have totally gotten in the way of a string. The blocks themselves look to be positioned relatively secure at the bottom of a wire band, but I guess they could have somehow fallen on their own. Two friends are feeding their pet rabbits in the living room when they suddenly hear a mysterious noise coming from outside. Both of them are feeling pretty brave as they creep up the window and continue recording. As tough as they might be, neither of them are prepared for what they see next. <laughs> There's something there. crouching down there. Yeah, could you get the light? Yeah. What? Yeah, there's something back there. Outside, some sort of orange four-legged humanoid is facing away from them. It's very low to the ground. Look directly under the clothesline if you can't see it. It's a strange glowing color that doesn't seem to belong in this world. Play the tape again in slow motion and you can clearly see the humanoid sprint away as soon as one of them knocks on the window to get its attention. It's clearly startled as it retreats over a fence with a speed too fast for its bulky body. The two of them rush out in the backyard for a fight, but they find that the creature is already gone. They check a nearby alley and quickly give up. Nobody was hurt. As for what the humanoid was doing, perhaps it smelled the scent of two rabbits and went in search of a fresh meal. Up a long forest mountain path is an abandoned house near the Chinese city of Chengdu that is said to be haunted. An explorer named the Sneezing Monkey travels to the fabled house to see if anything paranormal is there. There's not much left inside, but he does find an old book that he seems particularly interested in. At 2 minutes and 6 seconds, it almost looks like it gets slapped out of his hands by a possible ghost, but he could have dropped it too. Tell me what these pages say. For some reason, he seems to feel it's interesting enough to show the camera. Not much else happens, and just when I was doubting this house was haunted, I hear this. He's looking in some kind of fire pit or something and hears a noise. He looks up and hears it again coming from the attic. He doesn't stick around for long and wisely decides to leave. In January of this year, 2020, video footage of a purported witch atop a tree was caught in the Dominican Republic. According to local news, this was captured on a cell phone camera by a witness who was in his home when he recorded the event. Many people of San Juan believe the witches launch late into the night. The figure here at the top of the trees does look quite ominous, but what makes this video even creepier is the unexplained howling. Is the witch vampire making that noise? Could the howling be coming from somewhere else? <coughs> Oh, 
The sound is one matter. This figure is another. If not a witch, what is it? And what's it doing perched atop a tree? There's no way that's an easy climb. This footage was taken at the Chapelfield Mall in Norwich, UK. The mall is closed when a mysterious red balloon makes an appearance out of nowhere. As you watch this balloon float around on its own, keep in mind that the air conditioning was off, the escalator was off, and there is supposedly no wind blowing in from the outside. If all of this is true, then how exactly did the balloon move without any air currents? Even more bizarre is how the balloon stays low to the ground the entire time, almost at the height of a child. Could this balloon simply be half deflated, or is it being held by a youthful spirit? Hype Mike has gotten into some crazy adventures in the past, but staying at this abandoned factory until 3 a.m. is probably one of the wildest yet. Outside, he finds a collection of what could be someone's belongings out in the forest, but decides to continue anyway. As soon as he puts his camera down to climb inside, he hears this noise. Which I think sounds like a door being slammed as hard as possible. When he finally comes across an entrance, he finds the door has been kicked hard many times, like somebody leaves this way every day. Though to be honest, the footprints look to be about his shoe size, so maybe it was him. On the floor are dried red stains and a massive red streak across the wall that I think is paint, or at least I hope so. And that's when he hears it again, the same sound as before. Reach the end of the door and this. It's like, what the f? Someone's kicking doors open. Do they know he's here? Soon he comes across more red stains, but I think it's almost definitely paint considering the red wall has a similar streak on it as well. He's exploring various old burned out rooms. When it comes back, the same noise as before. Guys, that was loud as f Two bangs coming from opposite sides. He must be surrounded. The fact that Hype Mike is not taking off by now makes me think this almost has to be fake, and this explanation is really unlikely. What the f that was? Maybe it was like a bird or something. But just when I started to doubt this video, this really strange sound plays. This doesn't sound like the wind to me, especially how it ends, but tell me what you think it is and if it's paranormal. What the f Hype Mike makes it to nightfall without hearing any further noises. Maybe it's gone for now, whatever it is. He's trying to figure out a place to get some rest and wait out the rest of the challenge, but that's when the noises start again. Yo! Something just moved in there. Hello? The room where it came from is completely empty, but the complex is still occupied by something that has been waiting for the right time to strike, and that time is now. <laughs> Hype Mike runs out of there fast, but makes the mistake of taking one last look. Do you think this is one of his friends or a person who's lost their mind? Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.